Now we're getting to the fun part of the training. We're going to talk about uh, creating an assignment for your students. This is going to be something that is uh, really going to make Google Classroom useful for you. To create an assignment, we're going to go to the assignment link right there. You'll notice the first thing it's going to ask me is for the title of the assignment. I'm going to call this one, What I Did This Summer. That's the title of my assignment. You can give a little description here about the assignment. You don't have to, um, but I'm going to say um, write a three paragraph essay about what you did this summer. Please include at least one photo and many details or whatever it is you want to say. The next thing I'll choose is the due date. Today is actually August 11th when I'm creating this and you'll notice that the default is the very next day, August 12th. I could choose a different date by clicking on that. I could also add the time that I want the assignment to be due. For example, if I wanted to make sure it was in before midnight, I could use this uh, default time right here. You'll notice that similar to the announcement, you can add uh, all these uh, different attachments to it. I'm going to actually choose something from my Google Drive, and I made a little uh, Google Doc that's called What I Did This Summer. It's just a straight blank template. I'm going to click the Add button, and that adds it to this assignment. Over here, if you hit the drop-down arrow, you will see you have three ways that the students can access this file. You can give them view file rights, which simply means they can't change it, they can just read it. You could give them edit file rights, which means that all of them will be using the same document and they could make changes over top of each other. Or the final one is I want to make a copy for each student. Uh, if you choose that, which is what I'm going to do right now, it will put a copy of this template into each of your students' uh, Google Drive folder under the classroom and course that you've chosen. So I'm going to simply say assign right here and it says assigning. It'll take a little bit of time to uh, make a copy for everyone so you'll see that um, it does happen. Right now you'll see the assignment. You'll see that currently no one has turned it in. You will see that uh, three of them are not turned in obviously because we just created it. If I click on that number three I can see all of my students in my class and what the status is by looking at this uh, link right here. What's interesting also is that there is a link right here to your folder where the assignment is going to be located. So if I click on that, I am going to be brought to Google Classroom, Google Classroom Training, that's the name of this course, what I did this summer, that's the assignment, and inside this folder when the students turn in their assignment, it will be listed for them right there. The other thing that's interesting on this page is you could email all your students by clicking the little box and hitting that. You could download the assignments and you can even uh, decide how many points you want this thing to be worth if you want to grade it. Um, we will talk more specifically about grading uh, in the next section, but right now I think that's enough to get you started for creating an assignment using Google Classroom.